Hello, everyone. Today, I have a very important topic I want to share with you. The I talk a lot here at Amy Duin about connecting with nature and creating a life of health, beauty, and connection. But not every that doesn't mean that everything in nature is there for our use and safe or benign. So I want to share a story with you. Uh, my family has a property in northern Minnesota, the state where I live, in this beautiful boreal forest, you know, spruce and pine and aspen and on the ground there's ferns all over the place and there's grouse and it's just this beautiful, beautiful property that really makes you feel calm and peaceful. It's way back from the road, so you don't hear a lot of traffic noise. Um, but we've seen wolf tracks on the property. So right there, you know that not everything in nature is benign or safe. You have to be careful and you have to be able to use your intuition. And so we're walking along and we see these beautiful mushrooms. And I do want to get into mushroom foraging at some point. It's not something that I have had time to devote yet or devote to yet. But it's something that is definitely on, high on my list. And my husband would like to get into it more myself or more with me. And so walking along, we had planned on grilling. And so we saw these mushrooms and thought, oh, those are really, really good looking mushrooms. And my husband said, well, don't you have that app on your phone? And so I, a while ago, I had purchased the picture of this app from Google. And um, it allows you to take a picture of a plant and then it will give you an identification. Now it's not foolproof by any means. And lots of times it just ends up kind of narrowing things down. So this is where having a good field guide comes in handy to double check the app. But it's also, the app is also good because it helps you narrow it down because I've had times that I've been looking for a particular yellow flower in my field guide and it's like, you want to pull your hair up. And so I took a picture of this mushroom and it came back toxic. Don't eat, don't touch one of the top toxins as the Amanita mushroom. And you can kind of see in the picture that um, near the top, it's more red. So like if you've seen like David the gnome or like any pictures that show like Scandinavian toadstools, like the red with the white spots, those are Amanitas. Um, and not this variety, but um, they're not safe to eat. And so uh, when I got home, I did pull out my mushroom guide, which I didn't have with me at the time. And I was able to narrow it down. And I believe that these are fly agaric mushrooms. And um, when I was reading under it, it said that is not typically lethal, but one of the unpleasant side effects, and I quote, is a coma-like condition, which can last for hours. So definitely not something you want to mess with. So while you are in the process of creating a life of beauty, a life of health, beauty, and connection, we need to be aware that respect is a huge part of that. And we need to respect the plants. And part of that respect is not assuming that everything is there for our use and that is there for us to eat or consume or use as medicine. Some plants are there for their own purpose and for their own connection to the natural world. And it doesn't really involve us. And so we need to, as herbalists, as lovers of nature, as lovers of a life of beauty, to be able to accept the fact that sometimes this doesn't involve us. And we need to be willing to just look at the plant and say, wow, that's a beautiful mushroom and walk away. Thank you. Have a great day.